Okay, today I wanted to break down a pollen trap. And this here, I believe, is a top entrance pollen trap. This is the entrance where the bees would come into the hot, to the pollen trap. Now this particular pollen trap goes on top of the hive, I believe. I haven't played around with it a whole lot, but the way it works is pretty basic on any pollen trap. And that's basically what I want to discuss today. You, the bees would come in through here. And this is for drain. Your worker bees will come in through here, which they will have to go down through this screen. And there is two layers. Don't know if the camera is picking that up or not, but there is two layers there. Two pieces of that. They would go down through the first one, and then down through the second one. And you can see the pencil that I have sitting in there. Well, that pencil, where the pencil is, comes out on the bottom. right up through here so the bees would come then come across and by this point when they get to where the pencil is the pollen has fallen off their legs down into this drawer coming across here and now they can enter down into the hive when you're using a pollen trap if you have any holes in the corners of your hives or anything like that you're going to want to tape those off because the bees will resort to using that before they uh, force their way through that pollen trap. And at the same time, while using a pollen trap, you don't want to use it constantly. I mean, you're going to want the bees to get some protein pollen into the hive. They need that to raise the brood. So, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to discuss this today. Basics of how it works. Now you should collect your pollen every day. And when I was doing it, I would place it directly into a masonry jar and stick it in the freezer immediately. That will keep it fresh. So uh, if you're interested in seeing more about the pollen trap, leave a comment below. Maybe we'll play around with it this, this year and uh, make some videos on the pollen trap.